Hey everyone! This is going to be a very basic tutorial on how to do the scrolling video effect. In case you're not familiar with this effect, here are two quick examples of where it's been used. Fucking good milkshake. The dentists want that. The dentists want that. The dentists want that. The dentists want that. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to be working on recreating that Pulp Fiction section so it's easy for you all to follow. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Adobe Premiere, but if you use a different software, I'm sure you could follow it using the same general idea. Alright, so the very first thing you'll want to do is gather all the clips that you want to include in the scrolling video section. You can use any kinds of clips you like, but right here I've synced up all these vocals from the section in the Pulp Fiction remix. Okay, so now that you've got all the clips gathered, I'm going to throw in this very basic frame that I made in Photoshop to put all the clips inside of. You can make your frame however you want with any dimensions, or you can use this one that I'll have linked in the description. I'm going to change the size of this frame to 90% so it fits the screen properly. Now I'm going to nest all these clips, music, and frame into one sequence to edit in. And this part is super important, whatever size your frame is, you'll want to make the sequence that size as well, so it fits the entire frame. Now I'm going to drag this frame all the way up here because I just want to make room for when I put all the clips in their slots. And so this part is entirely up to you, you can put these clips wherever you think they'll fit best. You can have them start from left to right, or right to left, wherever you want to scroll. I'm gonna do right to left because that's how it was in the video that I just played. And then you just place them wherever you want. I mean, it's entirely up to you, but I'm just gonna show you a few quick examples. So if it's going from right to left in this example, I'm going to have the clip slowly play from right to left. And I'm going to tweak these a bunch too. But right here, is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to take the crop effect and for every clip that you put inside a slot you're going to crop the edges so it doesn't bleed over. So you crop him here and then I'll just copy that and paste it right on the other one. And there's another one of the same clip so we can paste that there. For this guy, see how it bleeds over into two different frames. We're gonna crop that. And so then what you do is you just crop every other clip. Pretty straightforward. Now here what I'm doing is for organization. Whatever number slot your clip is on, I like to keep it on that video track. So if there are any clips on the first frame slot, I put those on the first video track and for the second video slot, second video track. So that's what I'm doing right here. All right, so this part is just sped up to save time. All I'm doing here is moving more clips, cropping and organizing all the other clips. So here's what they will look like once they're all in their slots that I personally like, but I will change a few in the future. But here's just kind of the idea of what it'll look like. Okay, so now going to the original project where the nested sequence is, we're going to move the position of the video all the way to the right. Okay, now click this stopwatch at the very beginning of the clip, and then go all the way to the end of the clip, and move the sequence all the way to the left. And that right there is what will make the video scroll. Want that. 
want that. Now here I am just changing more clips because I don't like the positions of them uh, because some of them play off screen and I'd like to see all the voices on screen when you hear them. So that's just what I'm doing there. Okay, so I like that, but obviously there are a lot of blank spaces and it's empty whenever a vocal is not playing see all these blank spaces so what you'll want to do is clean it up with either frame holds or other clips that you think fit this section so I'll just drag the end of this clip all the way out and then click right where I want the frame hold to start I'll click add frame hold and then it just makes it pretty much a still image I'll also do this before the vocals come up so that way we see their face before they even speak. And so I'm just going to speed this up more because it's pretty straightforward. You're just adding frame holds before and after all the clips. Another method we could use is looping a video clip, like before this damn sample, we can loop a clip of her moving her hands to add some variation in these clips, and we would just do that by pasting the clip twice and making one of the clips reversed, so then when they're played on top of each other, it looks like a looping video. And here's what that looks like. Okay, so speeding up more things again because it's pretty much all up to you how you'd like to fill in these blank spaces, but with the frame holds, I mean, it pretty much does the job. Alright, so I got more blank spaces to fill, as you can see, and so I just extend these frame holds just a little bit more to fill up the time slot. Now here's the final product with no blank spaces and every clip synced up. And then here is what the final product looks like inside the big sequence where we've edited everything. And finally, here is the version that the viewer will see with the scroll. Alright, and that's how you do the scrolling video effect. It's super fun, and I hope you guys use this, and I hope you have a lot of fun messing around with it. Um, and please, if you have any questions about this, if I wasn't clear about anything, please let me know below, and I'd be happy to help. Take it easy, guys.